Dying superstar Lucky Dube made a desperate attempt to escape from hijackers who had shot him in front of his children. Seconds after he had dropped his 16-year-old son and 15-year-old daughter at the gate of his brother's house in Rottensville, south of Johannesburg, three hijackers shot the 43-year-old singer at close range. Dube drove off in his Chrysler but could not control the car and hit a parked Corsa and then mounted a pavement and crashed into a tree. By the time a witness reached him, he was dead. Dube was one of the South Africa's best-known singers, with millions of reggae fans here and abroad. An eyewitness who was in the neighborhood with his cousin to view a house said he had heard gunshots and then saw a blue VW Polo speeding down the road. The driver and the passenger doors were open. The car sped down Valder Road and it slowed down a bit and another man jumped into the car and it turned right into Lang Road. We ran back into the house, switched off the lights. Because they were looking at us, we dived for cover as the gunshots continued. The shaken man said that while they were hiding, they heard another big bang. We realized that my cousin's car, the Corsa, had been bombed. We could not see the car that had bombed it. Then we saw this flashy car, Dubes. It was still rolling. We ran behind it, but we were very scared. We did not know if the hijackers were still lacking somewhere. It came to a halt after it hit the tree. I went and peered through the window. The man was in a sitting position with his head slumped. He was not moving, the witness said. We phoned the police and told them about the incident. Because it was too dark, we could not see who it was. We only learned when the paramedics arrived at the scene that he was dead.